whatever seems natural to you. Okay. Well, welcome to the May 2008 Art, uh, Art Department Portfolio Day. Um, you can see that uh, this year has been very much about things I'm interested in, which are food as jewelry, one of my favorite things to do, uh, fish motif with the uh, portfolio materials, as well as baked goods in paper form, as well as things Uh, as part of um, uh, Dane Trogman's elective uh, manga class, uh, we completed uh, graphic novels. You'll see a lot of these around. There were about uh, 10 students in that class that got all the way through. And uh, this was self-published online through lulu.com, which is an online publishing house. Um, they do really good work. I was very, it's a very uh, easy, well-organized um, process. I'm glad that that exists today. Otherwise, these probably wouldn't be here today. Um, please do touch little paper craft creatures. We've got uh, Regina and Granny from Granny Smith, which is a uh, paper craft animated short. Uh, we just completed. That's going to have some music put to it, and that'll be part of the fourth year screening. And um, it's pretty pretty good fun. And you're this is a model of a biotech lab. The premise is uh, for a horror movie in which uh, scientists are kept like pets in a palace. You see we've got a little uh, walk-in closet here for your science needs. As well as Athena, a character from White Girl Dance Party, a concept. And uh, there's more, but you'll have to investigate the portfolio to see. Trail, what's the story? What's next? Uh, what comes next? We're looking at going to Chicago. I've got family there and some friends network, and I, uh, and I adore the city. Um, of course, I've never been there in Yes, January. I heard about this through Rona, who gave me this information. Uh, this is sort of breaking news, and I sort of casually mentioned it to Steve, and then like, boom, that was it. But uh, this is this is very recently developed. I'm still, I'm, you know, not 100%, uh, but I'm looking at an animation studio that's there that does some interesting work. There's some things that, um, that you've probably heard of or seen that they do, uh, as well as a couple of commercial production houses. We had a guest artist come in the week before that has connections in Chicago and is explaining that the commercials they shoot there, which is a very active industry, the commercials they shoot there are, um, <laughs> make, it, make, it, make it a good place to start out. And then I can also, um, if I wished, continue to work on independent movies in the off-season.